titled One Eyes, Two Eyes, Three Eyes, A Very Grim Tale. Help me welcome down. Thank you, Steve. Okay, <laughs> welcome fellow pilgrims, Toastmasters, and uh, Toastmaster Steve. Many of us think of ourselves, or I do anyway, as different from other people. We all want to be accepted. So this morning I found this folktale, fairy tale. It's not a well-known one. It's by the Grimm brothers, that one, one that they collected in Germany 200 years ago. And I thought I would try to share it with you. And so here it goes. Once upon a time, there were three sisters and they lived in a cottage next to the forest. Now the older sister was very normal. Her name was One Eye and she had one eye in the center of her forehead. The second oldest sister was also very normal. Her name was Three Eyes and she had one eye in the center of her forehead and one on each side of her face. Now the third and youngest sister was very different. Her name was Two Eyes, and she had two eyes. Now the two older sisters were very mean to their younger sister because she was so different, having only two eyes. They did not clothe her well. She had ragged clothes. They gave her leftover food, and they were in general just not nice to her, <coughs> the typical evil sisters. Now the three sisters owned a goat and every day two eyes would take this goat into the meadow in order to graze it. She was out in the meadow sitting there and she was very hungry and starving. So she began to cry her two eyes out and suddenly before her an old woman appeared and the woman said, and, and the woman had two eyes. The woman said to the little girl, What's wrong, my child? And the little two eyes said, I'm starving to death. I have sisters who do not treat me well, and I'm just very hungry. The old woman said to her, Just say this to the goat. Bleat, goat, bleat. Give me something to eat. And food will appear, and you can eat it, and when you're finished, Repeat these words to the goat, bleat, goat, bleat. I've had so much to eat and all the food will disappear. Just like this. And the old woman disappeared. The two eyes turned to her goat and said, bleat, goat, bleat. Give me something to eat. And suddenly there was a table and a chair and just tons of food. The little girl sat at the table, ate her fill. And she said, bleat, goat, bleat. I've had so much to eat, and everything disappeared. She went home that night, and uh, they always had leftover food on the table, but she wasn't hungry because she'd eaten that day, so she went to bed. One eye said to three eyes, I wonder what's going on. Why wasn't two eyes hungry tonight? I wonder if she's not getting food somewhere else. So one eye said, well, I'll accompany her tomorrow when she goes out to feed the goat. <coughs> So the next day, Two Eyes goes out to the meadow to take care of her goat, and Two Eye, uh, One Eye accompanies her. And of course, Two Eyes is unable to sing the jingle to her goat because One Eye is watching all day long. So they return to the house that night, and of course, Two Eyes is really hungry because she hadn't eaten that day, and she eats what was left over and goes to bed. That evening, two eyes went out into the forest and cried her two eyes out. And the woman magically appeared again and said, what's, what's going on? What's happening? And the little girl said, well, my older sister, one eye accompanied me and I couldn't eat today because I couldn't talk to the goat. And the old woman said to her, well, tomorrow when you go out, sing this song to her and she will fall asleep. <clears throat> Is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? Keep repeating that and then she will fall asleep and you can get your food from the goat. So the next day they go out, 
into the meadow again. And Two Eyes says to One Eye, can I sing a song to you? So she sings a song to her sister. Is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? And she repeats that and repeats that. And finally, One Eye falls asleep. The eye begins to droop and falls asleep. So then Two Eye says her little jingle to the goat again, bleat, goat, bleat, give me something to eat. She eats, bleat, goat, bleat. I've had so much to eat. The food disappears. They go back home. Of course, she's not hungry. And Three Eye says to One Eye, well, what happened today? And One Eye says, you know, I fell asleep, but I don't know what happened. And uh, One Eye said, if you want to go tomorrow and see what happens, why don't you give it a try? So the next day, they go out into the meadow again. And this time, Two Eyes says to Three Eyes, can I sing you a song? And of course she sings, is your eye awake? Is your eye asleep? And keeps singing that. Pretty soon, the one eye in the center of her forehead <laughs> falls asleep. <laughs> but the other two eyes are not falling asleep. But Three Eyes pretends that she's falling asleep. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to get some water. My throat is parched. Mm. So she pretended she was asleep, but she was watching through the bottom of her eyelids to see what happened. And Two Eyes said her jingle again, bleat, goat, bleat, give me something to eat. She ate, bleat, goat, bleat, I've had enough to eat. She couldn't hear the words, but she could see what happened. So they went home that night, and Two Eyes goes to bed. And One Eye asks Three Eyes, what happened today? And Three Eyes says, well, I pretended I was asleep, but I saw that she spoke to the goat, and that's how she's being uh, gotten food. So One Eye said to Three Eyes, well, we can't have this. Let's kill the goat. That way our younger sister won't have a way to get food. So they killed the goat and tore its heart out. <laughs> the next morning, when Two Eyes awoke, they told her what they had done. Two Eyes went out into the forest to cry her two eyes out. And the old woman appeared again and said, what happened? And the girl said, well, I sang that song to Three Eyes, but she didn't fall asleep. And she said, well, that's because the jingle says, is your eye asleep? You should have said, are your eyes asleep? But fear not. <clears throat> I have something else that you can do. Take the heart of your goat, dig a hole in the front yard of the cottage, and bury it. And a tree will grow, and on this tree will be silver leaves and golden apples. And every time that you want an apple from this tree, all you need to do is say to the tree, apple hanging on the tree, I am two eyes, come to me. So the next day, two eyes buries the heart in the front. And the following morning, sure enough, there's a tree, a tall tree that has grown, silver leaves, beautiful golden apples. And the two older sisters come out, and they're just amazed by this tree. Suddenly, in the distance, they see a knight in shining armor approaching their cottage. <clears throat> and they say, we must hide one eye because she's so different. We don't want anybody to see her. So they put a barrel over one eye. And finally, the knight approaches and comes to the cottage. And he says, what a magnificent tree you have here. He says, I would sure like an apple off that tree. The first person to give me an apple, I will grant their wish and give them anything they desire in my kingdom. So one eye and three eyes, they run to the tree. They grab for the apples, but the tree lifts its branches <laughs> every time they reach. They jump and they jump to no avail. There's no apples to be had. Well, of course, Two, Eye has, Two Eyes has been hearing what's going on. And she takes a stone and kicks it 
and the stone rolls and ends up right in front of the knight and the knight notices that this rock has come from the barrel and he said who's under that barrel and the two older sisters say oh that's our younger sister she's so different that we don't want to show her to anybody and the knight says to them I want to see who's under the barrel so they take the barrel off and here's two eyes and the knight says this is the most beautiful person that I have ever seen and the knight removes his helmet and of course he has two eyes and the two older sisters gasp when they see this the young girl goes up to the knight and the knight asks her if she is able to give him an apple off the tree and she says apple hanging on the tree this is two eyes come to me and an apple falls into her hand and she hands it to the knight and the knight says I would like to grant you anything you desire and two eyes says first of all I would like you to take me away from my two evil sisters and the knight asked the young girl to get on his horse they rode off to his wonderful castle they lived a life happily ever after after all they had a lot of things in common they both had two eyes <laughs> and the two remaining sisters you might wonder what happened to them to this day they are still standing under that apple tree repeating the saying apple hanging on the tree I am two eyes come to me and they cannot figure out <laughs> why there's no apples coming from the tree thank you <laughs>